Serbia's President Aleksandr Vucic has promised a moratorium on gun permits in what he's calling a practical disarmament of the country after two mass shootings there this week alone. It would halt permits regardless of gun type and include more frequent medical and psychological checks for existing owners. His announcement came on Friday. In a somber presidential address, he described the latest attack as terrorism, saying the gunman had been wearing a T-shirt with neo-Nazi symbols. Several people were killed and over a dozen wounded in the incident on Thursday, just south of the capital, Belgrade. This recent criminal attack, which followed an attack on our children, targeted not only those who were present near a hunting lodge or fence, but our entire country. Every citizen feels the impact of this attack. If I believed in conspiracy theories, I would have something to say. The newly proposed gun control measures would slash the number of weapons in the country tenfold to 40,000. Vucic also said he had suggested the reintroduction of the death penalty, but that the government was against such a step. The government will, however, hire 1,200 new police officers to improve security in schools. The suspect from Thursday's attack, a young man born in 2002, was arrested on Friday. The state broadcaster said he had been involved in an altercation at the school. He is alleged to have left, then returned and opened fire using an assault rifle and a handgun. Then he randomly targeted people from a moving car. An off-duty policeman and his younger sister are reported to be among the victims. This woman and her daughter knew them. She told Reuters she was in shock and that her daughter had had to take sedatives. The latest attack has dazed the country, which is still mourning from a mass shooting on Wednesday when a 13-year-old killed nine people at a school in Belgrade. Although Serbia has strict gun control laws, it also has what can be described as an entrenched gun culture, especially in rural areas. Automatic weapons are illegal and over the years authorities have offered several amnesties to those who surrender them.